The Florida quarterback situation is a topic we've talked about several times on this channel before, but specifically, it was more in detail about Emory Jones and what he brings to the table. It's more film breakdowns and some deep dives of Emory Jones. We haven't spent that much time talking about Anthony Richardson. The only real topics we, or the only real times we've talked about Richardson uh, has been back in the spring when spring practice was going on. And so, with some reports of, you know, I don't know if competition is the right report, or there there are some there have been some articles questioning is Emory Jones the uh, starting quarterback, and uh, everything we've read and everything that the coaches have said is yes he is. Uh, but today I want to kind of look at one what the coaches have said about that topic right now, if you want to call it that, and then two I want to take a, a few minutes and do a, a film dive of another quarterback who I think Emory Jones and both Anthony Richardson. Uh, could potentially look like in this Dan Mullen offense. And I'll go over those reasons why it might be a quarterback that you aren't expecting. But before we dive into the actual content, the meat and potatoes of the, of the video, I just want to encourage you to consider subscribing to the YouTube channel if you like any quarterback related content. So let's dive into uh, some of the articles that came out recently, especially uh, or more to so yesterday. Uh, there's an article, and it was pretty uh, adamant about, you know, Emory Jones is the number one guy. So this is McGee, talk, Coach McGee talking, the quarterback coach. He says, he's talking about Richardson and, and Jones. He says, those two guys get about the same amount of reps, but Emory is the number one quarterback. So he gets most of his reps with the ones, and Anthony gets most of the reps with the twos. But at some point in practice, they switch. He goes on to say, I think they do a really good job. I think it started with them gaining a better understanding of the offensive system, better understanding of the defensive structure and how protections and everything work. Then your confidence starts to build and you have the ability to activate your leadership skills. And I think they're doing a good job, you know, a really good job so far. And so basically the, the, the article talks about Richardson going to get some playing time. It's kind of how Dan Mullen does things with, with getting the backups in at times for that kind of uh, development, if you will. Um, he does go on to say, let's see, um, excuse me so he says i think it's going to be about the same uh, this is again mcgee talking i think it's going about the same as when emory is out there in regards to what we're doing to move the ball on the field so he's talking about emory and richardson it's going to be very similar uh offenses as opposed to last year when trask was out there it was much different than when uh, jones was out there so again as of now and everything we're reading emory is number one guy and whenever we see richardson it's not so much to replace him it's just because he's a talented guy to continue to develop him and, and you know kind of not necessarily throw something different at the defense, but you at least have a different guy. And so with that said, let's talk about a quarterback who I think is a quarterback who I think will be someone that you can look at Jones and Richardson because I think he is a very similar quarterback. And that is former Hawaii quarterback Cole McDonald. So before you kind of go crazy on me, McDonald is one of the more athletic quarterbacks in his draft class, was drafted in the seventh round by the Titans. Good athlete, can push the ball downfield. But the reason I want to look at McDonald is because, yes, the skill sets are very similar to Jones and to Richardson. Even though we don't have a ton of film on Jones and Richardson as far as game film, we have some on Jones, that's about it. But the skill set is, is similar with athleticism and the way to push the ball downfield. And offensively, Hawaii's kind of main offensive scheme was get defenders out of position. And we see that a lot. And that's what Dan Mullen's kind of creative uh, ability is going to be capable of and what he does. He gets defenders out of position and he uses the quarterback skill set to do so. So I'm not comparing the Hawaii offense to Dan Mullen's offense because it's different, right? It's not the same by any means. But some of the philosophy as far as getting defenders out of position and using the quarterback's running ability to do that is very similar. So I want to watch a few clips of Cole McDonald. We're going to watch him running some, and we're going to watch him throwing some, but watch how he's successful throwing the ball. It's because the defenders are out of position, and I think that's what we're going to see in Florida's offense, whether it's Jones in there or Richardson in there. We're going to see the defenders get out of position because of Dan Mullen's creativity and his ability to put his quarterbacks in position to succeed, and so there's only going to be maybe five or six clips that we're going to watch, a few throws, a few runs. Maybe, maybe like seven or eight clubs. But if you want more detail, go back and watch Cole McDonald from 2018, 2019 Hawaii, and you can kind of see how he runs that offense. And even though the offense is going to be different, there is some takeaways. And as far as skill set goes, I think he's similar to Emory Jones and Richardson as well when he gets in. So let's go ahead and look at some of the film. We're going to watch throwing, then some running, and then we'll kind of wrap it up at the end of the video. So here's McDonald hitting a deep dig route here. We're going to kind of look at why and how it happened. Of course, McDonald's a had a good arm, was able to rip it. Um, and Jones, even though we haven't seen this a lot from him, he hasn't had the opportunity yet, uh, there are some clips and good examples out there of him having the ability to do this, to complete balls like this. But I want to go ahead and look at the threat of McDonald and the threat of the run game in general gets this backer out of position. He's supposed to have middle of the field coverage, but he's out of position because of the threat of the run game, regardless if it was because of McDonald or the running back. C stays there, can't get back in coverage in time, making this wide open here so again another example of how I think the defense will just get out of position out of alignment which will create throwing lanes and then uh, Jones will be able to take advantage of it Richardson as well when he gets his time 
Uh, and again, I think Jones can fling the ball and, and sling it like McDonald does here, back right out of position. Good throwing lane right there. So here we're going to see another ball over the middle of the field. This is going to be a dig dig route here by the receiver. But let's look at why it's successful. Uh, it's a good read by McDonald, but I think something that is going to be is, is relatable to the point of the video, and that's Jones and the ability to make this happen. So we're going to see defenders again get out of position. Now we have covered two, so you know that's where you want to attack middle of the field. This backer should probably be in the middle of the field in this kind of, if it's a Tampa 2, uh, the backer follows McDonald's eyes. I don't even think McDonald is reading this side. I think he's just trying to get this guy out of position, something Mullen will be teaching his quarterbacks as well. Again, gets the defense out of position, and now you've created this hole here to throw an easier shot here than if the backer is in the middle of the field. Good shot by McDonald there. Again, I think we'll see the middle of the field exploited by this type of offense because the quarterbacks will get defenders out of position, whether it's from their eyes or their threat to run. Here we can really see the backer get out of position here with McDonald's eyes. <clears throat> Out of position, out of position, comes right back around, able to hit that strike there. So, again, good job getting the defense out of position, which I think we'll see Mullen uh, do time and time again. So here's a play that we'll definitely see uh, in Mullen's offense, and what we'll see him try to create for uh, Jones is to make easy throws here, get defenders out of position, exactly what Hawaii's offense was built off of. But Jones, uh, not Jones, but Dan Mullen being creative as he is, is going to help make easy throws. We'll see just kind of an easy, just what we call a gout route here, uh, quick speed out. Boom, kind of a little pick play. Ball is already out. Ends up being a good game, big play for uh, Hawaii there. But it's an easy throw, right? So it's able to set up easy throws. So I think we'll, be, we'll see Mullen set up easy, quick throws just to get the ball in the playmaker's hands. We'll watch it from this point of view here. The ball is out quick. One, two, balls out. Good job there. Again, creative, play, creative plays to get receivers open and get the ball out quick. Here's a quick, easy slant, uh, an easy design throw. I think with the threat of Jones that we've talked about, there'll be these quick throws here, and Mullen will be able to, to, to utilize that. Um, again, DB is like six yards off the line of scrimmage, the threat to run, easy quick throw, get the ball out quick, uh, get it in your playmaker's hands at Florida. We'll see these type of throws. I, th I think probably more often than, than you saw them last, last year for the simple fact, uh, the threat of Jones and, and Richardson running the ball, just getting the ball out quick as well will help that. So here's a touchdown run uh, from McDonald here, and, and this is when I think we'll see Jones really use his legs and Richardson down the red zone area, um, just to just to be another threat the defense has to take in consideration for good athleticism here by McDonald as well. So I think we'll definitely see this happen. Gets up field, breaks a few tackles to get in. Uh, just a, another example of why I thought McDonald was a good comparison to Jones and to frankly to Richardson as well. Let's watch the behind the center angle. We're gonna get the view. Yeah, there we go. Good zone read, DN crashes in, gets up field, breaks a tackle for a touchdown. So here's a zone read from McDonald here. We'll see backers crash in, not backers, DN's crash in. He keeps it, ability to get up field, good, show, good ability of his athleticism, something Jones will be able to do, and Richardson as well when they get in. Uh, so the threat to run will always be there. It's just deciding when to do it, and I think both of them uh, are going to be coached up and, and pick, their, pick their times to run smart as well. So here's an example of, of McDonald. When, when the play breaks down, using his legs just to go off script and make a play and pick up a first down with his legs, something that we have seen Jones do and something we'll see you know, both Jones and whenever Richardson does play, be able to get outside the pocket when plays break down and pick up first downs there. Uh, so again, nothing was there passing-wise, able to pick up, I think, a first down. Regardless, uh, able to use his legs to pick up uh, a game when nothing was there. Again, something that we'll see from both guys and we've already seen from Jones. We'll watch this angle real quick. Nothing there. Able to take off, pick up a, I guess not a first down, but still a good gain. Here's another example of the play breaking down and McDonald using his legs to pick up a first down here. Nothing really flashy or special about this. This is another example to show uh, for the sake of the video. So again, maybe you think I'm way off base with a Cole McDonald comparison, but to be completely honest with you, I was just kind of flipping through some film that I had. I saw the Cole McDonald in 2018 Hawaii, and I was like, yeah, that's actually pretty similar to the skills that Emory Jones has, and I think we could see some similar plays, even though the, the, the offensive scheme is different. Just again, just to reiterate, getting defenders in suboptimal positions is very similar. So again... Um, I think there you can compare the two quarterbacks and see some similarities. And I also want to touch on the Anthony Richardson talk as well that we've been getting lately. That Emory Jones is still the number one guy, but we'll you know it looks like we will see Richardson some as well. But
Let me know your thoughts below. What are your thoughts of the whole one Florida situ quarterback situation and then the comparison to Cole McDonald? Do you think they have similar skill sets? Could we see some similar things with Jones and Richardson that we saw with McDonald? Let me know in the comments below. We'll see you next time next quarterback related video. Florida's opening week is only about only one week away essentially, so we are ready for that season to start. We'll see you next time.